Hello everyone, we're going to be presenting on the David Beckham case study. I'm Chris. I'm Jay. I'm Zach. I'm Yubo. And we are the best team. Yeah, we are. I'm going to start off by talking about the career of David Beckham. So he started his career in 1995 for Manchester United. And he later joined Real Madrid in 2003. During that time, he resigned as the captain after the 2006 World Cup quarterfinal loss on the international team. Because of this, he also lost endorsements, such as with police sunglasses and his Gillette brand ambassadorship. In 2007, he signed a whopping $250 million contract over five years with the LA Galaxy, which had never been heard of. And he also profited from image rights, sponsorships, and endorsements. So I have this quote here from Don Garber, the MLS commissioner, and he declared that David Beckham is a global sports icon who will transcend the sport of soccer in America. So here I have two images of David Beckham. This one is at the start of his career with Manchester United. And here, this is when he signed with the LA Galaxy later on in the decline of his career. So now I'm going to talk about the skill set of David Beckham. So he played 10 years with Manchester United and dominated the English Premier League. They became one of the best and most competitive soccer clubs. And they won six English Premiership titles. And he was a midfielder with 86 goals. So one of the things he's most known for is his pinpoint crosses and his 40 yard penalty ball accuracy and his bending signature kicks around defensive walls which coined the term, bend it like Beckham. So now I'm gonna talk about the Hollywood life for David Beckham. So his persona, looks, fashion, athletic skill, and his iconic wife made him perfectly suited for the Hollywood life. It brought him opportunities to generate excitement about the sport of soccer. And um, it also brought commercial skills for his Hollywood career and it reignited his soccer career again. So now I'm going to talk about Beckham's brand. So he self-created his own brand with his wife, Victoria. It's called DVB, which stands for David and Victoria Beckham. And I'm also going to talk about his personal brand, which um, he built with his qualities, such as his athletic uh, global popular appeal, his recognition and credibility, and his overall fitness and physical attractiveness. All of these characteristics that he had made him one of the most iconic uh, athletes in the industry. Hello everybody. Uh, as I mentioned before, my name is Zach and I'm gonna further elaborate on David Beckham's career. He had a very long career and this is the reason why he's famous and why he got to do all these things in terms of marketing. So, it, at the age of 16, he signed with Manchester, the Manchester United Youth Academy. He built his way up and eventually signed a professional contract at the age of 18, which is very rare. He, uh, he went on to play with Manchester United for 10 years. And as Chris mentioned before, he won six premiership titles, which is not an easy achievement. The English Premier League, as many know, is one of the most difficult and competitive leagues in the world. So that was a very impressive achievement. In 2003, he decided to transfer to Real Madrid, again, one of the biggest clubs, but now in the Spanish league. And he played there for four years along famous people like Roberto Carlos and other great soccer legends. So we're gonna move on to his international career. So as an English native, uh, David Beckham played for the English national team and he appeared for their team 105 times throughout his career. He also scored 17 goals, which as we mentioned before, is very difficult as a winger. He played in three different World Cups and scored a famous free kick in the 2006 World Cup, which we will show later in the clips. And it further cemented his, uh, his slogan, bend it like Beckham, which other people will elaborate on later. And in 2000, uh, he retired as England cap as the English captain after the 2006 World Cup loss. And then David Beckham went on to sign with LA Galaxy in 2007, which was a very risky move in his career. 
The MLS was a league which was young and ridiculed globally. Nobody respected the league and respected the talent which it had. So for him, a player that was, yes, declining, but still had a couple years in his prime, it was a very big risk. He played in Los Angeles for four years and was instantly a star on and off the, the field. He won an MLS Cup in 2011 and 2012 with the LA Galaxy. He decided to officially retire from all soccer activities in, with the team Paris Saint-Germain in France in 2013 which ended his, effectively ended his career. So on the next slide, we're going to show you a couple of clips that we thought would show his skill. And there are also some of the greatest moments of David Beckham's career. For Kansas City, Trujillo gets up. Beckham, there's an empty net. Kevin Hartman is in a race to get back. Beckham is gonna try it over the halfway line and he is gonna hit an empty net. What a goal from David Beckham! And if you don't believe he's bringing soccer into America, you better believe it now. And you talk about a guy who deserves a golden eye with the effort he made, people questioning him, saying, no, he didn't bring, you know what? He brought it for 90 minutes, and then he rips a shot from 60 yards on an open goal. The presence of mind, look at him looking. He knows it, takes his time, and you know he's not gonna miss that. Look at that ball. Right smack in the middle of the goal from 60 yards out. Look how easy he just strikes that. He says, thank you very much, Hartman, for going forward. The ball comes to my feet. Let me score my fourth goal of the year. Cardoso tries to get that shot on goal. Beckham to the other side to deliver one, and it's in the back of the net! L.A. back out in front, 2-1. Nothing accidental about this one. David Beckham swinging it right in in front of the box. Instead of going with the high service, you can see he puts a little extra pace, keeps it low. Donovan doing a great job of running across it. Hard to see if he gets a touch to it, but so many players in the box. David Beckham becoming this sport icon, along with having the ability to create multiple personas on and off the soccer field. Beckham learned how to become something bigger than just a single brand, but a portfolio of brands. A brand creates association that consumers have towards a product or service, and this association adds value, but can also put you in a box depending on how you brand yourself. But Beckham utilized his global star power to add very specific and significant value to the many different companies he's represented, allowing him to become the face of many different products and services. Uh, being a global sports icon, uh, companies have been able to use Beckham as an image of a pure talented athlete and they will relate his image to their products and services. Some of the qualities Beckham has include his popular appeal for being talented, having credibility, physical attractiveness, expertise, trustworthiness, and these are all qualities that a company looks for in an athlete to endorse their product. But Beckham has been able to extend his image far beyond just sports, which is very enticing for companies to exploit. This is why he can be seen as a portfolio of brands. He can use his prowess to act like a chameleon and latch onto different brands, adding many different sorts of values to them. This is something that is very difficult to do in the commercial world and through different forms of marketing, Beckham has been able to transcend boundaries unlike any other English athlete to become a global brand. One of the popular phrases used for David's brand was bend it like Beckham, which had several implications regarding his ability. Beckham had the ability to curve free kicks flawlessly around the wall of defense and soccer, but can also bend societal norms in a commercially appealing way. They even titled a movie around that phrase, Bend It Like Beckham. Uh, all of this adds to his multi-dimensional persona. On the field, he represents a masculine sports male 
talented at his craft and is from a working class background. Whereas off the field, he has been portrayed as a loving father and husband. And with his nonconformist tendencies, he's been able to utilize an admiration from his younger audience. Along with this, Beckham was able to become a fashion icon with his sex appeal and athleticism, which comes along with uh, what makes you stand out as a celebrity. And while many celebrities only hold one of these elements, Beckham has been able to embrace a whole scope of qualities for his brand, all which seem to resonate to the world in a very genuine way. Brand equity is sets of asset and liability linked to a brand, its name and symbol, and adds or subtract from the value provided by product or service. There are two types of brand equity, creation of awareness and image. So for David Beckham, creation of awareness, Beckham is one of the most recognizable athletes in the, United, uh, in the world. He's extremely popular in England and extremely popular in the football world. <clears throat> Uh, creation through Im creation of image, uh, Beckham is a multi-brand persona, has a massive fan base, he's a loyal um, husband and a loving father. I love LA. Beckham was not only good for LA, but LA was also good to David Beckham. Understand that um, soccer was not a popular sport in the United States. In fact, to this day, Soccer is still a growing sport in the United States. LA Galaxy decided to sign David Beckham in 2007 during the decline of his career, which is an amazing marketing move because it opened up the door for a lot of overseas players in Europe to come to the United States and actually play for the MLS. Uh, Galaxy owners said that within three months of signing David Beckham, Beckham have already paid for itself. How? Uh, sell Things like sales through luxury suites, seasonal ticket, shirt sponsorship, and merchandise sales. For example, right after Beckham signed with the LA Galaxy, all their luxury suites were sold out. Approximately 11,000 seasonal tickets were sold. Uh, they signed a shirt sponsorship with Herbal Life at about $20 million a year. And Galaxy merchandise sale went up 700%. All the league went up 300%. LA is world's best celebrity platform, which makes sense why Beckham came to the United States at 2007. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for David Beckham to extend his brand because even though he is popular around the world at the time, United States was not, uh, soccer was not popular in the United States, which gave a chance for the people in the United States to know Beckham and his brand and his product. Thank you.